What's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I want to talk to you guys about the Xbox One and Microsoft is pushing out an update to it where you have the ability to plug in your own USB webcam. Pretty straightforward. I mean, kind of like my webcam over here, for example. I have this hooked up to my MacBook Pro right now to shoot this video. With this update, I can plug this up into my Xbox One and then use that as well. Now, why on earth would you want to do something like this? Well, for example, maybe if you have Skype on your Xbox One, then if you wanted to have a video conversation, there you go, and you can just have the video conversation straight from your TV. And if you have a webcam like mine, where you can mount it on your screen, you can mount this on your TV as well, and then you can see the person on your big screen right there. Now, there is one flaw to that, where not every microphone on the USB webcam will be supported with the Xbox One, and the same goes for the Xbox One X that will be coming out later. But the alternative for this is if you want to use the webcam to see yourself, that's fine, but then you would have to plug in an Xbox One mic for microphone into your controller as well in order you know, to have your voice heard to the other party. However, this is not available for everyone just yet. This is only available for the Alpha Insiders right now. Now, what do I think about this? Well, it is a pretty neat feature after all, so that way you don't have to go out and spend money on Microsoft's Kinect with their camera within that device. Because next, you know, like a lot of people don't even have the Kinect, myself even. I don't even have the Kinect for my Xbox One. Yeah, it was a new console that I got last year. Would it have made sense for me to get the Kinect? Sure, but the problem is this is my bedroom. I have no space to stand up and enjoy my games using body motion. So I just played with the controller. Yes, I could take my Xbox One downstairs, plug it up to another TV, but this is my bedroom and I play my games over here. So with the personal preference out of the way, if basically there are some constraints within people's lives, which is why we don't, uh, some people prefer not to have to connect while some do. And would I like to have to connect myself? Absolutely. So, so that way, like, if I were to get, like, a sports game one day, then you know, for my Xbox One, you know, it'd be nice to play as if you were actually over there at the ring itself and physically playing, except you can just do this virtually. Well, not virtually, but as if it was in real life. But I'm pretty sure Microsoft is going to fix that at some point because, uh, I mean, plugging a webcam into your computer, it's like it installs the drivers right away and it recognizes both the camera and the microphone itself so it should be a pretty straightforward process well not very straightforward but microsoft should be able to correct it in a software update later on this year or at some point in the near future but other than that what i'm curious is how would this affect the gaming experience like with the webcam, will it make the gaming experience like even better or make it a little bit different compared to playing with a controller or using the Kinect? Who knows because after all, these are gonna be aftermarket parts being supported for the Xbox One and not 100% sure how these would go well in terms of gaming. Maybe for instance, for a webcam, that can do the same thing the Kinect can do where in certain games, if you were to move your body, uh, your character within the game that you are playing will also move along with your body motion kind of like for example how i'm doing right now just moving around and you know something like that for a particular object within the video game is itself to detect your body motion what do you guys think like to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please subscribe rate comment also check out the description below for my social media links twitter instagram i'll see you in the next one take care everybody